Imagine a world where machines think, cars drive themselves, and industries are revolutionized overnight. At the center of this transformation is a name you've probably heard, NVIDIA. Over the years, NVIDIA has become synonymous with AI innovation, powering everything from cutting-edge gaming to breakthrough advancements in artificial intelligence. Its GPUs are the lifeblood of countless tech ecosystems, making it a darling among tech investors. But hold on, there's a challenger in this high-stakes game, one that's shaking up the competition, Broadcom. While NVIDIA dazzles with its AI-focused GPUs, Broadcom has carved its own niche, building critical hardware that underpins the entire digital economy, from networking to AI accelerators. So the big question is, when we look ahead to 2025, which of these tech giants is the better AI chip stock to own? Is NVIDIA's momentum enough to keep it at the top? Or could Broadcom's diversified strategy make it the dark horse in this race? In this video, we're breaking down the strengths, strategies, and growth potential of both NVIDIA and Broadcom. By the end, you'll have a clear understanding of which stock might deserve a spot in your portfolio for the future of AI dominance. Stay tuned as we unpack the numbers, the technology, and the trends driving these two titans. First, please make sure you like this video, share it with friends, and also subscribe. Please help this video get at least 500 likes. It will help my channel greatly. When it comes to driving the future of artificial intelligence, few names stand as tall as NVIDIA. In 2024, NVIDIA dominated the AI space, delivering the high-powered GPUs that became the backbone of AI infrastructure. From training massive language models to powering real-time AI applications, NVIDIA was the clear leader. But here's where things get interesting. Broadcom, another heavyweight in the chip industry, is ready to make its move in 2025. Known for its critical hardware that keeps our digital world running, Broadcom has its eyes on the AI market and is gearing up to challenge NVIDIA's reign. Both companies saw huge gains in 2024, with NVIDIA's stock surging over 170% and Broadcom's climbing an impressive 107%. Now the question on every investor's mind is, which of these two semiconductor giants has what it takes to lead the AI revolution in 2025? NVIDIA's GPUs are built for the future of AI, excelling in tasks that demand massive parallel processing power, like training and running large AI models. But Broadcom has a different game plan, focusing on networking and acceleration hardware that supports AI systems on a larger scale. NVIDIA's dominance in the GPU market isn't just about the hardware, it's about the ecosystem they've built around it. At the heart of their success is CUDA, a software platform they developed to extend the use of GPUs beyond gaming. Originally designed to boost graphics rendering, CUDA evolved into a must-have tool for developers working on advanced AI projects. This strategic move gave NVIDIA a massive edge. Developers not only learned AI training on NVIDIA GPUs, but also became deeply embedded in the CUDA ecosystem. This created a significant moat, allowing NVIDIA to capture an incredible 90% market share in GPUs. Fast forward to today, and that strategic foresight is paying off big time. NVIDIA's GPUs are the go-to choice for companies building powerful AI models. And it shows in their numbers. Through the first nine months of its fiscal 2025, NVIDIA's revenue skyrocketed 135% to $91.2 billion, with its latest quarterly revenue alone jumping 94% to $35.1 billion. This growth is fueled by an AI gold rush, as tech giants pour resources into developing more sophisticated AI systems. NVIDIA's combination of powerful hardware and a deeply entrenched software platform has made them the leader in AI infrastructure. But will this momentum carry them through 2025, especially with Broadcom stepping up its game? The future of AI demands more than just power, it demands scale. As AI models grow more advanced, their hunger for computing power increases exponentially. NVIDIA is perfectly positioned to ride this wave. Cutting-edge AI models like Alphabet's Llama and XAI's Grok are now being trained using up to 10 times as many GPUs as earlier versions. The momentum doesn't stop there. NVIDIA's hyperscale customers, those operating massive data centers, are doubling down on AI infrastructure investments, viewing AI as a once-in-a-generation opportunity. And with analysts forecasting over 50% revenue growth for NVIDIA next year, the company's future looks as bright as ever. But while NVIDIA dominates the GPU space, Broadcom is carving out a unique path in AI. Their expertise in application-specific integrated circuits, ASICs, is opening new doors. These custom chips are designed to meet precise customer needs, offering not just exceptional performance, 
but also greater efficiency and power consumption. By helping customers build tailored AI solutions, Broadcom is making serious inroads into the chip space, complementing its role in the broader AI infrastructure. This strategy positions them as a challenger with a distinct edge, offering flexibility and efficiency where it matters most. The question is, will NVIDIA's scale and innovation continue to overshadow its competition, or could Broadcom's customized approach give it the edge in 2025? Broadcom's expertise in custom chip design has opened doors with some of the biggest names in tech, and Alphabet led the way. Leveraging Broadcom's technology, Alphabet created its first custom AI chip, the Tensor Processing Unit, TPU, also known as Trillium. Specifically built to optimize Google's TensorFlow platform, these TPUs boast unique features like a Matrix Multiply Unit, MXU, and proprietary interconnect topology. This combination makes them highly specialized for AI training and inference, setting them apart from off-the-shelf GPUs. While rumors swirled that Alphabet might develop its chips independently, Broadcom secured the contract for the next-generation TPUs, reinforcing its role as a trusted partner. And Alphabet isn't Broadcom's only success story. Broadcom has expanded its custom AI chip portfolio to include a growing list of high-profile clients. Meta Platforms and ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, are believed to be long-standing customers. Meanwhile, OpenAI and most recently Apple are rumored to have joined the ranks of Broadcom's custom chip clientele. This growing roster highlights Broadcom's ability to deliver tailor-made solutions for tech giants looking to push the boundaries of AI innovation. By focusing on customer-specific needs, Broadcom is positioning itself as a go-to player for companies that want more than one-size-fits-all solutions. With its strategic partnerships and a strong foothold in custom AI chip development, Broadcom is quietly but steadily building momentum in the AI chip race. The question now is, can this momentum translate into market dominance? Broadcom's potential in the AI market is nothing short of massive. On its latest earnings call, the company revealed that just its three largest custom AI chip customers represent an addressable market of between $60 billion and $90 billion by fiscal 2027. And that's just the beginning. Broadcom plans to deploy a staggering 1 million custom AI chips by then, add two newer customers into the mix, and the opportunity only grows larger. But there's a key distinction here. An addressable market is not the same as guaranteed revenue. While Broadcom's custom AI chip segment is rapidly gaining traction, much of the company's revenue still comes from its broader semiconductor and software businesses. These areas aren't seeing the same explosive growth as AI. For instance, in its most recent quarter, Broadcom's organic revenue grew by just 11%, a slower pace compared to its peers in the AI space. Even with the VMware acquisition factored in, Analysts project Broadcom's total revenue to rise by 18% this fiscal year and 14% the next. The numbers suggest that while Broadcom's AI ambitions are exciting, its overall growth might be more tempered than NVIDIA's laser-focused approach to dominating the AI chip market. So how does this balance between broad diversification and targeted AI innovation stack up against NVIDIA's strategy? Let's take a closer look at the trade-offs and the opportunities. Each company presents for investors looking ahead to 2025 and beyond. When it comes to valuation, NVIDIA might surprise you. It actually trades at a lower forward price to earnings, P.E. ratio, than Broadcom. NVIDIA's forward P.E. ratio sits around 30, while Broadcom's is slightly higher at over 33. That's intriguing, especially given NVIDIA's significantly faster revenue growth, which analysts expect to continue in 2025. And it doesn't stop there. NVIDIA's financial position gives it another edge. The company holds an impressive $30 billion in net cash, providing flexibility for investments, acquisitions, or shareholder returns. Broadcom, on the other hand, operates with $48.3 billion in net debt, a stark contrast that could weigh on its ability to maneuver in a rapidly changing AI landscape. So what does this mean for investors? NVIDIA offers faster growth and a stronger balance sheet at a slightly cheaper valuation while Broadcom brings diversification and a growing foothold in custom AI chips. For growth-focused investors, NVIDIA might look like the clear choice. But for those who value a diversified business model and steady incremental growth, Broadcom still holds strong appeal. As always, the final decision depends on your investment goals and risk tolerance. Both companies are poised to benefit from the AI revolution, but each brings a unique approach to the table. As we head into 2025, the rivalry between Broadcom and NVIDIA is heating up. 
Broadcom created quite the buzz with its comments on its massive AI addressable market, fueling a surge in its stock price in December. Meanwhile, Nvidia faced a tougher finish to the year, struggling to maintain its momentum. But here's the twist. Despite Broadcom's recent hype, Nvidia is now the cheaper stock, trading at a lower valuation, and it's still expected to deliver much faster revenue growth in the near term. Broadcom's management has certainly added some intrigue to the AI chip debate, leaving investors wondering who will dominate in the years to come. But here's the key point. Broadcom's gains don't necessarily mean losses for NVIDIA. NVIDIA's GPUs remain the gold standard for versatility and power, serving as the backbone of AI infrastructure. At the same time, companies are looking to Broadcom's custom chips as an alternative to ensure NVIDIA doesn't monopolize the space. In this dynamic market, it's not about one company winning and the other losing. There's room for both to thrive. That said, if I had to pick a favorite for 2025, I'd lean towards NVIDIA. Its superior growth potential and cheaper valuation make it a compelling choice for investors looking to capitalize on the AI boom. So, what do you think? Will NVIDIA's innovation and growth continue to lead the way? Or could Broadcom's custom AI chip strategy surprise us all? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights on the tech that's shaping our future. And if you found value in this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next deep dive. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.